Hey everyone, it's Nate from Voltage. Voltage is an industry leading Bitcoin development platform and infrastructure provider. And this is going to be a fun video. This is sort of an update to our old video, are lightning nodes profitable? Does running a lightning network node help you earn more sats? And it's a very nuanced question. The answer is yes, you can earn sats uh, by running a lightning network node. But let's back up for a little bit and let's talk about the incentives of the Lightning Network. The reason why developers put in fees as part of the Lightning Network is to incentivize pointing capital at in-demand destinations or destinations that uh, are receiving payments. So how do you do that? Well, you can incentivize it by uh, uh, requiring fees to be paid to nodes that are forwarding payments along the network. So the next question is, well, how much... Can I earn from doing that? And the answer is you can earn as much as you want, depending on how much capital you are willing to allocate to your lightning node. And that's just one of the primary decisions you have to make. If you allocate uh, 5 million sats to five 1 million sat channels, and then you also get some inbound liquidity, you could forward some payments but you're not going to be earning nearly as much as someone who puts in five Bitcoin and opens uh, 25, 20 million sat channels. The reason why is the second person could uh, forward bigger payments and payments more frequently. If you are opening smaller channels, the amount that you can forward along the network is directly related to how much you allocate to the channel. Now, a big update from our previous video when I made a video like this is that we have new lightning channel marketplaces. So instead of just uh, using routing payments to earn fees, after you have built up your node into being a decent uh, lightning node, you can now actually uh, be paid to open channels for others. People will look at you and say, hey, I want a channel from you and they could pay you uh, to open a channel to them. And I'm going to show you one of the biggest marketplaces. It's called Amboss Magma. And on Amboss Magma, you can see that there are a bunch of uh, metrics, liquidity deployed, average APR, we're at 3.5%. Not bad for basically risk-free, right? You're just locking up capital, but you never relinquish your ownership of that capital, which is what makes it really, really cool. You're not giving it to somebody so you're always maintaining ownership. So there's a whole marketplace here. And so you could see I have a couple of offers, right? I'm trying to sell some some channels. And I have sold some channels. Uh, and I have earned some sets. So there's Amboss Magma. I, I do want to emphasize, though, that earning fees on Lightning is... It, it shouldn't be your primary goal. Uh, running a Lightning node should be a low time preference thing. And I'm a strong proponent of starting a lightning node and starting out uh, using it to buy stuff, uh, using it to buy stuff from the Bitcoin company or BitRefill or tons of other places uh, is a really good way to get inbound liquidity. And over time, your node will just slowly become a routing node because you'll be opening more channels, buying stuff, getting inbound. And it's just a lot more relaxed, less time consuming to just take it slow and, and slowly build out your node. This, um, I don't think you need a rush. Some folks like to just throw a bunch of Bitcoin at their node, do some, uh, liquidity swaps like on loop out or whatever. Um, but that is expensive and you don't have to do that. So to boil it all back down, our lightning nodes profitable. So you have to think about, uh, things like if I set my fee rate to 0.01%, if my channel goes from outbound to inbound, like if I forward from outbound to inbound, am I going to at least make back or more the on-chain costs of opening the channel to begin with? Because remember, you have to think like a business. So if you are, if you spend 2000 sats to open the channel, you want to at least make that back. If you don't, you're not, um, you know, you're donating money essentially. So you have to really keep an eye on your expenses, just like you would, uh, if you were running a business. 
So just keep that in mind. Check out the article, the new article we have posted. It goes into more detail on that. But uh, the point of this video is to just kind of emphasize that it is totally possible, but you should have low time preference and, uh, and enjoy the process. That is my uh, advice. Uh, thanks for watching and check out that article and subscribe, like, keep in tune because we will be uh, making more videos. Take care.